the Drider really didn't like those comments you made about his thorax. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to roll for initiative. Yeah, I'm going to get you to re-roll that. What with that new Dungeons & Dragons movie coming out, I've got the perfect opportunity to combine two of my passions, tabletop gaming and toys what transform into other stuff. Released to tie into the new movie, the Dicelings range are a bunch of creatures from Dungeons & Dragons that turn into 20-sided dice, and as such feel right at home here despite not actually being branded as Transformers. They're even made by Hasbro, so th they're Transformers, sure. This particular one is Thimberchard, a name I refuse to look up if I'm pronouncing properly because I enjoy saying it like that regardless of whether it's right or wrong. Thimberchard. Since it's how it comes in the box, we'll start with the dice mode and, well, it certainly is a regular icosahedron. It's quite a bit larger than a standard D20, but I'm sure you could assume that by the fact it turns into something. The 20th side has the D&D logo picked out in gold, which is nice, but I would have liked to see the other numbers picked out too. Although I suppose I can just do that myself if I really want to, and I even got a little extra paint on mine, so I shouldn't complain. It's a little gappy and hingy, sure, but that's the sort of thing you notice a lot more on a toy that transforms into a flat coloured geometric shape. You just can't really hide it. The transformation is fairly simple, and apart from a twist at the waist that you might not initially realise is necessary, it's the sort of thing that you don't need instructions for. And the dragon that you're left with afterwards is rather neat, even if he's not quite as adorably chunky as the box art shows him. As the wings form most of the shell of the dice form, it means that the jank is mostly relegated to them, leaving the rest of the dragon to be remarkably well realised and articulated, making for a really expressive figure, especially at this size. And the paint apps, at least the ones that are supposed to be there, do make for a nice looking overall package. In terms of size, he's a bit bigger than a core class transformer, but nowhere near as big as a standard deluxe, which makes sense since that's reflected in how much they cost, sitting somewhere between those two price points. Now I didn't really focus on the transformation there, partially because it's really simple so I don't really need to say much, but also because the real challenge is getting him back into dice mode. It's not complicated really, you just curl him up and cover up the dragony bits with the wings. The trick is all in remembering exactly how his legs are supposed to fold up because there's only just enough room for them in there. I foolishly did not pay close attention to how they were out of the box, so it took a fair amount of trial and error to get him back into dice mode the first time, and I am not ashamed to admit that I had to look up a video to see how it's actually supposed to go. But once you know how it's supposed to work, it does work, so I can't really be too mad about that. So would I recommend Thember Child? Yeah, sure. Treat yourself to a dragon who turns into a... shape. <laughs>